Welcome to this brief training video on how to use your new ebb, SimBox. The box is a great low fidelity simulator designed specifically to use during skills fairs or to help your clinical staff familiarize themselves with the ebb complete tamponade system. When you get your box, if you open it, you'll find suction cups located inside the uterus underneath the lid. Open the flap and remove the suction cups. There should be four of them. Turn the box over and insert the suction cups. This is done by placing it in the hole on an angle and sliding in and then readjusting to the other side. Do this for the other four suction cups. With the suction cups in place, secure the box to the table. The SIM box also has this tether so an ebb can be attached and never leave its side. To attach, open the snap, run one of the snaps through the traction bar on the ebb, and then snap back together. The ebb now moves freely for training purposes but will not get lost or misplaced. Now the box and ebb are ready, we need to prepare the IV bag. To do so, remove the white cap from the IV bag. Do not lose it as you will need to recap the bag once it is filled with air. After you remove the cap, Take the ebb spike and spike the bag to break the seal. Press firmly to ensure the seal is broken. The bag is now ready to receive air. The best way we've been able to find to do this is with one of these, a balloon pump. A similar one has been included in your sim box for this use. Push it in as far as you can get it to go and then inflate. Put the white cap back on, and voila, you have an IV bag full of air ready to be used with your Ebb training box. Now simply follow the steps printed on the top part of the box. Step one is to prepare the uterine balloon. Simply wrap the balloon around the catheter and insert into the uterus. With your IV bag full of air, you're ready to inflate. Ensure to close the stopcock. Remove the spike cap and simply spike the bag and squeeze. Was that a bagpipe? Yes, you will hear that sound when you inflate the balloons. This is because there's no fluid going through the spike. Now we can get back to the training. Keeping your fingers at the cervix, inflate the uterine balloon until the balloon begins to push down on your fingers. Step 5 is to place and fill the vaginal balloon. Slide the vaginal balloon up so it's against the cervix and then inflate in the same method. Be sure to close the stopcock, remove the spike, and then spike the bag and gently squeeze. Again, do not be alarmed about the bagpipe noise, as this will not happen when fluid is used. The PPH trainer box gives a great representation of how the uterine and vaginal balloons work together to anchor and keep the balloon in place tightly from both sides of the cervix. To remove the device, simply open both of the stopcocks and wait a few seconds for some of the air to release. After a few seconds, use the tabs on the lid to open the top and then remove the ebb device. Use your SimBox often to increase awareness and preparedness amongst your clinicians. For additional information about EBB or other training resources, please visit clinicalinnovations.com.